What's going on guys? Welcome to another video brought to you by The Simple Engineer. Today we are going to be taking a quick look at converting decimal fractions to binary numbers. Um, this is introducing the topic of IEEE 754 floating point conversion. This is uh, one of the steps, so I thought I'd make a video just kind of introducing how to do the more basic portion of that. Um, so without further ado, let us get started. We're going to be starting off with 7.25 as our number, and we follow a very basic um, algorithm, if you will. And what we want to do is really just break this up into two parts. We're first going to convert the 7 into binary, which follows the same standard procedure that you would do um, for any other just random whole number. Uh, and then we're going to take the 0.25 and then break that up in a separate segment. So if you can recall from um, previous experience, you know that 7 is just 1, 1, 1, because this is 2 to the 0, uh, 2 to the 1st, and 2 squared. So 4 plus 2 plus 1, 4 is equal to 7. So this is going to represent the first portion of our decimal number. Now the second portion um, is a little bit different and it follows the multiply by two method and the general idea that we follow here is that we continuously multiply by two until we get zero as our final number. So if I were to take 0.25 and multiply that by two, you see that we get 0.5 and we'll just write 0.5 here and I'm gonna make some columns to better organize this okay and then we look at the coefficient well there is no one here if there's a leading coefficient of one on the left hand side of the decimal then we put a one here however there's not so we're gonna put a zero then we're gonna take 0.5 and we're gonna multiply this by 2 and 0.5 times 2 is 1.0 and you see that we have a 1 here, so we're going to put a 1 here. But every time that you have a 1, you take all the numbers on the right-hand side of the decimal, and that is the new number that you multiply by 2. So in this instance, because 0 is the only number on the right-hand side of the decimal, we take 0 times 2, and that gives us 0. And then we put, because there's no 1 in front of the decimal, then we're going to put a zero. But this is our stopping condition. We've hit zero in the second column, so now we can stop. So this is the binary representation of 0.25. It's 0, 1, 0. So if we were to represent 7.25 into binary, it would be 111.010. One, one, one one, okay, let's uh, just to really ingrain this idea into your brain, Let's go ahead and take uh, another look at a different number. And we're just doing simple numbers uh, for this example because um, the multiply by two method can actually end up taking up quite a bit of bits and uh, it requires a lot of math. Okay, so same thing, three represented in binary is just one, one. And we know that because 2 to the 0 and 2 to the 1st, you add those together, that equals 3. Okay, but now we need to take care of the 0.75. Okay, so 0.75. So we'll start out, we'll say, okay, well, let's take 0.75 times 2. And um, let's see, what is that? 0.75 times 2 is 1.5. Okay, so this is, we'll break this up into columns again. So this is 1.5. Oh, but see, we have this trailing one, okay? So because we have the trailing one, or the uh, the one on the left-hand side of the decimal, we can put a one here, okay? But now we take everything after that, which is 0.5, and we're gonna multiply that by two. And we know 0.5 times two equals one. Okay, well, we have a one on the right-hand side of the decimal, so we're gonna put a one here. And then we're going to take everything after that decimal and multiply it by two. So here in this case, it's zero. And we know zero times two is zero. Uh, well, that's our stopping condition. There is no trailing one, so we're gonna put a zero. So the binary representation of 0.75 is 110. You take it from the top down, top down. 
So this is going to be 1, 1, point, one, one zero. And this is the binary representation of this decimal fraction. Now, uh, what I can do is put a link in the description. And this is a decimal uh, fractional uh, capable converter from decimal to binary. And if I plug in 3.75 here, 3.75, you can see that indeed we have 11.110. One, one one, one, and the only difference here is that it takes up uh, a lot more bits in this calculator for the calculation. But you need to realize that all these trailing zeros don't actually affect the value of the number. Okay, so that takes care of this short video of converting basic fractional decimals into binary. If you guys have any further questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.